Okay, now let's move on to the next one, which is client three. And they are the manufacturer and they procure various international brand tires from different parts of the world and store it in the different different warehouses in within the national and distribute to the delivery centers and directly to their clients as well and then also to the retailers and there are a number of they are the number one brand in the country so they are the one who has a majority of the stakehold in the country in the tire industry so as an example it says like in the images is they purchase the tires and then they kept in that main warehouse and then they can split into different sub warehouse and then they can directly sell to the customers or they can also sell directly to the stores so that's what the diagram says here so what is the project scope the management decided to move their organization uh, on premises report to power bi service and they want to monitor everything orders to shipment quality delivery and planning so they already are using the sql server on prem so they don't want to give everything on power bi cloud so they want to monitor everything on the sql server on prem and they have multiple erps what they are running custom based solutions and they are working on that so the data structure is like what they have right now is they have on prem sql server and they want to reporting into power bi so there are why the arrow i have written it here i will show you after that so it has a complete responsibility of developing things in sql server to power bi so the experience is i'm i was responsible for the entire uh, project which is the center of excellence and i was the leading to the project and i was set up to power bi so they are all new in power bi created the confluence document for process and faqs so if they want to create something like that and we have defined the theme for that and so that they can make use of that theme and what is the process of creating the reports and what are the things they need to maintain uh, in order to uh, enhance the report and then adopted the self service concept which is a single source of truth um reusability of the data so that's an important thing in power bi because if everybody starts to work on the develop the report and they want to call the data from the sql server again there are two reasons is that the the data will not be the same for different different reports and also we unnecessarily getting the data twice or thrice from the sql server to the cloud and the data migration issue will be there so what we did is we build a single source of truth so that everybody who want to build the report they can just build the report the existing data set which is available in power bi service and we created the base data set and the build report on top of that which is a standard report and if someone wants to build the report then they can also build the report based on this certified data set which we have approved being an admin for in power bi service they don't need to connect to sql server again or any other data source again they can just get the data from the existing sources and also we use the version control via jira bucket bit bucket so during as of even or regarding this video we don't have a much uh, user friendly version control in power bi unless we can share the report in i'm store the report in sharepoint it has an inbuilt version control but here we adopted a ticketing system for every deployment so we use the jira for that and jira has a bit bucket as a backend where we can maintain the version control for that and build a template for organization which covers the font size logo icons color visual alignments default visuals kind of thing and so that they can adopt the company theme and build the report on top of that and they have a power bi premium p1 license we build the usage metric report in combination of on prem support server and power bi service data as i said earlier they already have on prem server for the reporting purpose and they actually want to monitor the usage of all the every report what we develop and what it is already there and the consumption of the report between on prem and power bi service so the main challenges which we faced is like adoption of power bi reports with the cxo and the managers we conducted many trainings for that so that they can learn and get to know about how they can interact with the report and get the data from power bi rest apis for usage metrics to sql server on prem the columns are not the same and hard to identify the column and build the report so that's really a challenge one because power bi report server which is on prem has an entirely different structure of the data how it is stored and power bi service logs which we get from rest apis has an entirely different log so we developed a report uh, powershell script so that it can get the data from power bi rest apis and store it into sql server and the existing data what we have on the sql server on prem 
we mesh together in a view and the build the report on top of that so it has taken a lot of time uh, to find out which column which we need to take for which exact report so some of the report consumed a lot of memory uh, power bi premium capacity as we have only premium p1 and there are some finance report where it has taken a lot of resource by looking into the usage metrics report what we have the in power bi premium capacity so identified those report and improved the performance by adopting the best practices and enable the auto scale features of power bi premium service so it can just enable this auto scale and it can increase the capacity for 24 hours and then it can scale it down if something is not required so how we have improved the performance is basically by adopting the best practices like uh, we had to remove the unnecessary columns and we had to bring the data only to the required amount of volume what we need to do that so by doing those kind of best practices we have used here and the arrow which i have shown here on the data structure on the above is basically we are getting the data from the SQL Server on-prem into PowerShell and then into Power BI so that for the reporting purpose. And the same Power BI logs we are getting it from the REST APIs and then storing into SQL Server. So that's why there are two-way process of the arrow here. And another is like we are usually build the report from SQL Server to the Power BI service on an usual level. So the project comes around like uh, one year, it has taken one year to do that. And I worked like three different projects in that period. So, so far hope you are liked about what are the details what we have faced so far.